Snellville painter thought she was dying when a trip home to Jamaica changed her life. While visiting the island, she met a long-lost brother who made her an offer she will never forget. Health Watch reporter Beth Galvin joins us now to explain. Beth? And Russ and Lisa, this story is just pretty unbelievable. Tamara Natalie Madeline was pregnant when she was diagnosed with a life-threatening kidney disease. As she got sicker, she traveled home to Jamaica to make what she thought might be one last goodbye trip to see her family. And that chip changed everything. I, I really want them to connect with the viewer. I really do want the viewer to see them as they are. I am a real person. I exist. You know, respect me, honor me. Tamara Natalie Madden is inspired by the very people many of us overlook. But their struggles are real. And I and I I guess I understand it because I lived, you know, a very difficult life in my childhood in Jamaica. Uh, we were not rich, we were very poor. Now 30 and living in Snellville with her 10-year-old daughter Nidalis, Madden has come a long way. And if you think her paintings on display at the Apache Cafe in Midtown are striking, Madden's own story is even more dramatic. In my early 20s, I was diagnosed with a, a very rare uh, kidney disease called IgA nephropathy. Madden was pregnant with Nidalis when her kidneys began shutting down, and she grew weaker and weaker. I was very young, and I honestly didn't know what I was going to do, um, and the disease was progressive. Madden had always turned to art as an escape, but now it became her saving grace. While on dialysis, I decided that uh, I needed to start drawing again because I was losing my mind. Uh, toxins were building up in my body. I was going insane, and I didn't know how to soothe myself. As her health unraveled, Madden's mother offered to fly her home to Jamaica for one final visit with her family. And this is where it gets a little strange. I felt this strong urge to find this brother of mine that I did not know. And he was my father's uh, son. To this day, I can't explain it. Some say it was God telling me that I need to go back home. But I felt this urge to find him. Weak and rail thin, Madden flew home and tracked down her brother, Leroy Madden. The first time he saw me, he asked me, what is wrong with you? Because I think he expected to see a beautiful sister coming down and I looked like I was dying. And I said, well, I have this kidney disease and, and, it's, and, it's, and I was perky like that. I have this kidney disease and it's, you know, I'm, I think it's, it's, you know, I don't know, I might die from it, but oh, well, you know. But Leroy's response caught Madden off guard. He said, well, you know, um, I'll get tested for you and if I'm a match, I'll give you a kidney. And I said, what? Because I didn't go looking for a kidney. I just went to find him. And I said, are you joking? And he's like, oh, I'm serious. And Leroy was serious. A blood test showed he was an ideal candidate for Tamara and Natalie. So in 2001, he put his life on hold and flew to Milwaukee to give his half-sister one of his kidneys. I thought that it was a miracle. I thought that this man that I didn't know, that urge I had to find him was, was, was you know, a greater power telling me that this is your destiny. This is, you know, you have to live for a purpose. You have a magnificent purpose. Madden thinks that purpose may be her paintings. As she recovered, she threw herself into her portraits. I feel spiritually connected to my work. I feel like I am doing exactly what I'm supposed to do uh, with, with my life. Today, Tamara Natalie Madden is healthy again, and she's hoping her story will encourage people, especially minorities, to think about becoming an organ donor. They need to know that um, that it's all right to share. It's okay to help somebody else live. Um, if were it not for my brother, I don't. I think I might be dead right now. It's an amazing gift, and I I, I hope that people can open their minds and understand that it it really is a gift. It's a gift of life.